So, I hit a little snag. This is the last part I need for the headstock and I wasn't even going to make a video segment out of this but apparently I'm going to because I was just going to mention that I took the knobs off, give it a paint job, put it back on because if it ain't broken, don't fix it and it, it works just fine so I really don't see any, any reason to go in there except that now that I took these dials off it wasn't built quite like I expected so the link that goes here is now somewhere around here loose and now I have to take it apart because I don't see any reasonable way to get in there and get it back on like it's supposed to be and I'm a little bit anxious about that because I don't have any drawings of this gearbox. None at all. I have a operation operating manual for this slave, but it doesn't tell you how to take it apart, so I tried asking around in the forums, it got me pretty much nowhere, so I went out and got this really high quality Chinese inspection camera and Hopefully it's enough to, so that I can take a look inside, have a peek, because I suspect from these quick select gearboxes that I've seen open that all the controls are in this half and all the gears are back here and it should open nicely and nothing should fall out, but since I have, in, I have no idea I'm gonna first take a look and then hopefully be able to get it back together because now it's working. If it looks like it's too intimidating to open without any, any drawings then I won't but hopefully I found out it's just a piece of cake and I just made myself an excuse to get a new toy. I'm not very sure what I'm seeing but I'm seeing in there quite okay. There is lots of stuff, but I think it's all built in that way that if I pull the two halves apart, there will be like forks that move the gears. So if I don't mess with anything, I won't lose the timing on the dials in relation to how the gear should be, so I'm pretty sure that I can open this and not destroy it. So, there ain't much more to it than to get cracking. Explosions yet. However, there is an obvious timing option because no problem because the main selector here will drop off out of gear and there's no protection
how it's apart. And I had absolutely no need to do this because it looks really nice in there. Right, my plan becomes clear. In order to put this back together without disturbing it too much, I need this part on the front side in its place. So I'm gonna put this in electrolysis and then clean it the best I can and call it done, put it on and while I'm at it there is some bit of smooth in here so this was not totally waste of my time opening this this thing uh, but the gears now that I know they look good there is some evidence of some rough changing on one of these gears I believe it was this one there is a couple of edges that you can see that it's been used but other than that it looks nice so clean up get a new seal put it back together and be done with it I'm just gonna strip the paint and paint it with this on the, the front Right, after some little detour, now we are ready to put this back together. So first we install this on the front side of this so that we can attach this link. And then this, this is somewhat tricky to put together because these align with these. And this selector here has to align with those two. They ride here in this groove and it moves them sideways. So you select forward, reverse, and whether you're threading or feeding. And finally, these two that I dropped go to these two grooves here and they are the locking mechanism for the these two pieces lock these two rings and that prevents the gear select from turning. Now that's the tricky part because this rotates freely but hopefully I did the markings on the other side correctly so I can align them so that gear meshes right with this gear and it will work if it's not timed correctly but then the dial on the other side will will not read correctly so I have to mesh the teeth right and luckily these contact before the teeth so I can put it close and I have a couple of minutes uh, with the new gasket on to adjust this wheel if I need to. So, all in all, I align it, 
and try to close it. And these are good because you can tell if they are or if they are not, so I'm not saying it's easy, it's just easy to tell if they are correct or if they are not. Okay, that was a fun little detour, but now I'm there where I should have been a day ago, not too bad, so now I decided to do this, so I paint the back side and then I mount the thing and then I do the rest of the paint job on the front and the back, uh, the underside when it's on the, on the frame. And then I'm able to assemble the headstock. So, hope you enjoyed and as always, thanks for watching.